Hello everyone out there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Coldfire and today I'm going to be reacting to a little video that I ran across. It's called a visualizer. I'm not quite sure what that is. I'm getting too old to figure out what that is. Um, but this is Pitbull and Dolly Parton and it's called Powerful Women. And I know Pitbull, I, I mean I've heard of Pitbull of course, I know who Dolly Parton is, um, but I want to see what collaboration they do in this and what it's for. I'm just curious, because I know she came out with a rock album. Um, of course, if you could, I think it's over here. You can see that I have it on my floor. I bought the big box set for myself and I didn't open it because it was the LP. My husband, he bought the CD one and got a shirt um, because he likes to listen to CDs in his car instead of Spotify. I don't know why. Um, I just hit Spotify because I have all my music that I like to listen to and I can just hit pop, pop. If I don't want to feel like dancing, I can just hit a love song. But let's get into this and see what Pitbull and Dolly Parton can do together because this is a... This is a really unique duo <laughs> from what I can tell but let's go it's Mr. Worldwide with the one and only Dolly Parton well, hey. and this is dedicated to I'm a powerful woman yeah. working 9 to 5 2 3 jobs just to survive I'm a powerful woman no man at home raising all the kids alone I'm a powerful woman Y'all deserve a throne. Keep your head up and stay strong. I'm a powerful woman. No matter what, never give up. I remember working hard with my mom. You name it, she did it. You name it, she sold it. You name it, she cleaned it. You name it, she owed it. She had to provide. We had to survive. You name it, she stole it. Our whole life was layaway. Pay, 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 but the bills never went away. Put your hands to the sky. This goes out to the women working hard nine to five. <laughs> Mama worked hard her entire life. She had 12 kids at 35. Ooh. Working 24-7, 365. Working 5 to 9 and 9 to 5. They let you dream just to watch them wow. shatter. You're just a step on the boss man's ladder. You got dreams you never take away. Never take away. You're all in the same boat with the love you will bring. listen to a lot of rap um, but this I could understand what he was saying and the fact that he got with Dolly Parton um, and done this for powerful women and the fact that she added her little uh, 
country rap in there was really cute because she said her mother worked from five to nine and then nine to five or something like that. So she's basically working around the clock and it is showing you that, you know, for all the women out there that cook and clean and do this work and do all this and all that, we're grateful for you. And yes, my mother was the same way. I I can say that my mother is my favorite hero because I remember so many times her working in a factory 12, 13 hours a day and walking two to three miles to work, you know, just to make minimum wage, just to save up because like, you know, like they said, layaway on there. We grew up with layaway because we wouldn't have clothes to wear to school, but my mother always made sure that we had clothes for school every year and she always made sure that we had food no matter how little it was or whatever we were always grateful for that and you know they say that your your heart is your father but I think that your mother is your soul and into the fact that they feed your soul um, and they're you know don't take your mother for granted, you know. That's just something a lot of people do, especially when they're really, really young and the mother tries to explain to them, you know, don't do this, you know, don't do this, don't do that, don't do that. It's because they've done it before when their mother's told them not to do it and they suffer the repercussions and they're trying to save you from doing it. Not to say that you're not going to do it, but just remember, when you do it and you get the repercussions and then you have kids one day of your own and you are going to be saying the same thing to them, it's a wash, rinse, and repeat cycle. But this, this, this definitely is going on my playlist because this song right here is unique in so many ways. You have a rapper with a legendary country singer um she's doing some rapping in this which is you know really astounded how she done that you know she's in her 70s and she's still putting it out there like you wouldn't believe it <clears throat> but um and now i really respect pitbull for whoever he is i'm gonna look him up probably do a video on him I respect the fact that he got with her to do this song and respect women enough to do this song with a country artist. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Their collaboration. Not because they were um, different genres of music, so to speak, but a lot of rap gets a bad rap, <laughs> no pun intended. But they, um, because most of it used to be very um, anti-women, you know, booty shaking on the screen and, you know, side pieces, stuff like that, you know, um, but, you know, not all rap is like that. Just like not all country music is talking about beer and trailer parks and, you know, hanging clothes on the line. But... I do hope that you enjoyed that as much as I tremendously enjoyed it. And until the next reaction, I will see you later. Love you very much, and you have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.